Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today in this Shabby experience, I'm going to show you how in Craftopia to make a fully automated breeding pen that you never have to replenish animals. It will be 100% self-sustained, and it is done very easily with very minimal effort. So, first things you're going to need. Little area, kind of similar to this. You can make it how, however you like design-wise, of course. This is just your standard square, but what matters is having a breeding facility in the back right here facing out into a water trap now you can also use a cooking pot if you would like but i prefer the water because i don't care about cooking eggs or whatnot okay so you have one facing here and then you'll have another one right in front of it facing with a launch pad i like these better just because they're more fun to launch things or you can also use a conveyor belt as well if you haven't unlocked these yet all right, so the first things first, in the back, we are gonna put in the monster called Green Mona, okay? So what these things do is when they die, so when these things are drowned, they're gonna release a puff of healing that will heal in an AOE effect all around them for every creature and structure in their vicinity, AKA these guys in front, and as well as them. So these guys will breed autonomously watch watch their health get gain back right there boom big heals right so with that i'm then gonna grab my breeding animals so i'm gonna throw in some let's throw in the cows i've got some cows right here so i've got some captured cows these cows right here are great the wagyu cows because they when those things spawn you get a chance and i was breeding these earlier we'll see here in the chest right for red shiny dark so it's a very rare item, but you can see here from its bonuses, you get 75 attack and 25 attack. So it's a nice uh, super attack base buff. And you get that with the horns, the leather, you can get it in the meat as well, which is obviously useless, um, the milk, etc. So very good thing to farm for any leather build. So let's take a look here, right? So that, that's it. That's all you have to do. And like I said, you can use this with anything. The only exception would be elephants or anything of that size because they're so large, you can't drown them in a little one by one plot like we have here. But let's just take a peek at this. Man, look at them. They just look amazing. Take a little screen cap. Make sure these look amazing. Show us our drowned animals and watch. You'll see that thing die in the background there and heal everybody but not the dying cows in the front. That's why it's two spaces away so it doesn't get, get caught in that AOE. But yeah, you'll see some regular cows get out if you use these and then all of a sudden some red Wagyu cows. But yeah, if you want to do elephants, you just have to set it up a little differently. I have a spot right here that I use for elephants and I just have them get spewed out and then they hit these tracks and then I have a two by two with a market set up because ivory sells really well. So I have those set up for an automatic money farm it's not great it's not as good as my peach farm obviously but it's automatic so but yeah guys this is how you build a fully sustained breeding pen now like i said you can use this for any sort of material farm that you want to do okay now i highly suggest it for these for your attack buffs and also any other creature you're going to use to make try and craft high-end gear this is absolutely necessary to get the, all those goodies all right, guys, if this was useful, make sure you hit that like button down below and do leave a comment as well. And as usual, this has been Shabby Do, and I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.